<laughs> Good morning, boys and girls and parents and grandparents and anybody else. Good morning to you, Lois. Good morning. Oh, it's, it's, I'm filming on Saturday for Sunday, January 17th. And I looked, it's about 7, 10 a.m. and 30 degrees. And Lois and I are going to talk about Romans chapter 12, verse 15. Pastor Nancy, can I tell them what you told me? She's wondering if Lois can tell you what I told Lois like an hour ago. And, and I'm going to say yes. Thanks, Pastor. Boys and girls, usually, Pastor cheers me up. But one hour ago, Pastor Nancy was sad. Well, Lois let the cat out of the bag. I was sad. I'm not so sad right now because it's snowing. <laughs> but the truth is, I was sad. Okay, fess up. Why were you sad? Ooh, Lois is embarrassing me. I feel embarrassed. I have a picture of the globe here. I don't know if you can see the globe. That's the world, all the countries of the world on the globe. God loves the world, by the way. But okay, you shall tell the truth and the truth will set you free. Okay, I'll tell them. I was sad this morning and yesterday. It's embarrassing. I don't even want to say it, but okay, I'll say it. <laughs> I was bummed because we didn't get very much snow. Nancy? Really? <laughs> Why are you surprised? Well, as a little lamb, I don't really like snow. You don't like snow? <laughs> because it makes it harder to sleep. I have to find a warm spot to sleep in. Plus, it's hard to find my paths. You can't find your paths. You can't sleep as warmly. Plus, if it's icy, I have slipped on my hoofs. Oh, Lois, I didn't know that. Okay, so what got you out of your funk? <laughs> what got me out of my funk? Oh, Lois. Romans chapter 12, verse 15 says, Rejoice with those who are rejoicing and grieve with those who are grieving. I think a lot of our people know that verse. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Why did that get you out of your funk? Well, um, first of all, being sad is okay. So I'm not shaming myself for being sad that there's no snow. That's normal. It's normal to be a little bit bummed. That was an hour ago and yesterday. But then the verse, Romans 12, 15, rejoice with those who are happy and be sad with those who are sad. That Bible verse took me out of my little world. That Bible verse enlarged my perspective. Enlarged your perspective? What? <laughs> Pause the device and say that. Enlarge my perspective. <laughs> I know. I think there's better words that I could use. But making something small, we go like this. Making something larger, we go like this. And if I enlarge my perspective to the globe, <laughs> to all the countries in the world, and then I think about that Bible verse, and I'm going to go to the grieving part. Who is grieving over the world? Who is grieving? Pastor, I even know that many people grieve about many things. So I started to think, and yesterday I learned that a new person is in the hospital because of COVID. 
Yes, I know that too. In First Lutheran Port Wing, we have Willard in the hospital. And from Messiah, we have Jeannie Welsh. Willard Ogren is still in the hospital because of COVID. And Jamie Welsh is in the hospital because of COVID. Wow, so we're sad about that. We are and we want to pray for people who are sick and lonely and hurting. And as I get my perspective larger and I grieve with those who are grieving, I know what you're going to see. Well, what is it? You can handle no snow for skiing. I can handle no snow for skiing. And it's not no snow. It's just not as much as I wanted. Plus, plus what? Plus what? I did not realize because my perspective was small. I had a small, sorry. I had a small perspective of just myself. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Thought of only me which is normal, but a little embarrassing. And Lois, guess what? What? I didn't know that you didn't like snow. I did not know that snow makes Lois's life harder. You got it, Pastor Nancy. That's the truth. It makes it harder for people who shovel and people who um, are afraid of falling. I should be afraid of falling. You know, I mean, we all need to be. Pastor, I got it. I understand. So anything to rejoice about? Well, thanks for asking. <sighs> I, I, I rejoice because um, Lois is ministering to me today. I am. Well, you asked me if you could tell everybody about how sad I am. Yeah, I did that because I was sad because you were sad. And... My spirit is lifted by Lois grieving with me, even over a little thing. Pastor, if you're sad, you're sad. I prefer you not sad. <laughs> it's powerful. And you're, I hate to say it, but you're just a lamb. Come on! <laughs> but I feel touched when others are um, to care, even about the little things. So we do have homework. Homework? I don't like that. <laughs> I know. But today, you will see somebody in your house. Say, hey, tell me, are you happy about something? What is it? Are you sad about something? What is it? Is that the homework? I can do that. <laughs> yeah. That's called loving each other. And I showed you it could be a small thing that we're embarrassed about. I'm sad because I didn't get a second piece of pie, you know. <laughs> Pastor Nancy, you silly. You're silly now. I'm sad because I didn't get to go, you know, ice skating. Um, but it's real. It is real. Feelings are real. And, and what? We are talking way too much, but one more thing. What? <laughs> Lois says, I need to say it. Sometimes, for example, me telling the whole world, you, that I'm sad about the no snow, that kind of helps me let it go. I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to let it go and, and um, pray to God that I can live that Bible verse. And um, it's a, it's, it's a challenge. But we're about done for the morning. And look at in our short time together from 7.10 to 7.07.17. Oh, 7, look! Lois, look! <laughs> wow. wow! Wow! Yeah. We're noticing that because of the conditions, trees have a really beautiful little layer of um, snow. And it looks like lace, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so look, we could go on and on, but we're going to close now. Do your homework. Ask someone today, what are you happy about? What are you sad about? And then, boy, for extra credit, you can pray. For triple credit, call or text Pastor Nancy and Lois, 715-209-1100.
Tell me your story about sharing highs and lows. I'd love to hear it. I will share your story next week. Okay? We love you. Goodbye. Goodbye.